everybody. So back at the beginning of the month I did a video which is always about the upcoming energy updates for a month and during that video we were given the time of around the 17th to the 21st when we'd have a complexity of energies arriving. Of course the 19th means that it's a full moon and we've got the longest eclipse full eclipse um, or partial depending on where you are um, in the whole of the year so I think in some parts it's like six hours or there there are thereabouts and so all of these different planetary alignments and energies have a frequency um, offering if you like they all have uh, they stir things up within the human psyche um, in different ways for different people so I've decided today, because I think we all need a little bit of help at the moment, and with the complexity of the various timelines that are going on at the moment, I just feel as if we've got different parts of our bodies and minds and souls spread out into lots of different um, options and possibilities and potentials. And so I thought, right, I'm going to ask for some help it's okay to ask for help, you know, and I'm going to ask for some help from my sets of oracle cards for us. So I'm going to do a reading and the intention here, it's always good to set a, an intention when you're using sort of open book or oracle cards or any other assistance from spirit is um, the intention basically is what do we need to focus on? What do we need to focus on at this time for us to make optimum open-hearted, trusted, loving um, actions and reactions during this phenomenal time of change. So what help do we need? So I've got all sorts of oracle cards in front of me at the moment. And for me, I just intuit which ones to uh, pick up and read from for our group. So if you're interested in doing this for yourself it's really really easy but i have got a previous basic uh, card reading and there's also advanced ones there for those that have been doing it a long time and they want to do multiple decks like i'm going to show you now so this is for us this is for all of us what can we do what what energy is coming in what what how can we be helped during these times for our optimum health and our optimum way forward so this, this is from an old, old pack I've had for a very long time by Diana Cooper, the Unicorn Cards. And the answer to that one is number 43, Queen of the Unicorns. And this is just basically, it's nice for me to show you the picture because often there's lots of messages in that picture and colours and various things that are going on and then obviously the words. See what resonates for you. This is to remind you that during these extraordinary times or simple times you are blessed with love, compassion and wisdom. You are blessed with love, compassion and wisdom. That's a great thing, isn't it? To bring our attention to love, compassion and wisdom. And if we react to the outside world events that are going on, or the alignment of the planets, or thoughts within ourselves, or the beat of our own heart and rhythm of our life, and, and, and we just recognise that, that we're blessed with love, we are wisdom. And we have an abundance of compassion. Okay, so the next one I wanted to go to was Rebecca Campbell's Work Your Light cards, Oracle card deck. And the advice here from um, Rebecca's one, so just to show you the card deck. And then her energy and ours has brought forward birthing a new age. Birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Birthing a new age. So what a phenomenal message for these times. Birthing a new age. New creations. 
dreaming a new world into being. I've had lots of reports from people recently who are dreaming more than they ever remember dreaming. And they're having dreams of what, what you know, in, on one level, um, when we can't work out or, or we haven't come to peace with our emotional layer, uh, our emotions body, then we dream the answers we dream the rest of the emotional. We work it out through dreams and dreams often don't make a lot of sense and sometimes they do. And people are now saying that they're dreaming and dreaming and dreaming. And one idea is that we're dreaming different realities. You know, what sort of reality? Or, or you're getting a heads up through your dreams so you can alter your trajectory forward um, so that you can have a say in what this new earth, this new creation, this new creation of you is. So let's focus on that one. The, um, there's, yeah, okay, a strong, a strong, strong pull coming in from the uh, spirit animal oracle. So this one is uh, Colette Baron reed And this one is basically we've got antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. Antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. Now we've definitely had that heads up and we've definitely been living that the first part of, of November. And I really feel that that's actually talking about these different timelines. The fact that we're, we've got lots and lots of frequencies of energy all coming in at the same time. And as a pillar of light, as a, a, um, uh, an energetic force, it's all compounding in. It's coming in from all sorts of different directions. So you get it. It's time to sift through that. It's time to sift through that, and not be worried about everything arriving at once. You've signed up for this as a soul. Um, we can be the change we want to see in this world. You know, lots of little changes each and every day can add up to a massive massive change it's the time of our people it's the time of our human race to evolve so one more pack one more is from diana cooper again animals archangel animal oracle cards and the guidance that we're given from this is the owl it says listen to the messages of the angels archangel bokby Listen to the messages of the angels. It's really quite interesting, that, isn't it? Because um, in many traditions, the owl is seen as a as a wise one, a, um, a bringer of the wise. But it's also um, often about listening to the intuitive self within, about going to the 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 womb of creation, that that beautiful void, the the sort of moonlit night as it were so that you can actually ask those questions and listen and hear what the answers are of your intuitive self and you know that the meaning of angel is messenger so listen to those messages from um your intuitive self and follow that okay guys so be the queen <laughs> king in your own life remember your blessed love compassion and wisdom birth this new age let's get to it guys let's actually take conscious part of that of new creations dreaming this new world into being not waiting for anyone else to do it but taking part in it ourselves that that message of leadership in our own life and and um, the message from Matilda recently um, where she was talking about humanity's decision to sit within and grow into greatness all of this is making sense and coming together and then the antelope spirit don't worry that time is fast sometimes and i feel sometimes time is going to be slower but life is speeding up i mean sometimes you need more momentum to uh, get things going and yeah and then the owl you know, listen to the messages of the angels. You're never alone. We've always got help. 
but it is up to us to ask for it. Okay, my loves, let me know how you're doing in these extraordinary times. I'd love to have natters. Mwah. Lots of love. Bye for now. <laughs>